Um, yes. So this, this servo horn fits in this side piece here. This servo horn fits in the bottom piece. Okay. Now let's just kind of get these organized a little bit. You're going to have a servo in between these two pieces. And you're going to have a servo mounted on here. Oh, and I was test fitting one of the pieces here. Let's just kind of look at that. See, this is a one of these medium size um, little machine screws with that nut. Okay, and that's I test fitted it in here. But I'm going to undo that now because I just wanted to make sure that was the right part. Some sort of a nut that you can fasten with your just finger tighten. But they don't fit any of the machine screws in the pack. So I don't know why those are included. It's a mystery. Okay, and then I think they were intended to go with these long machine screws. And my guess on those are to fasten, uh, to mount the base plate to some, to where we were going to mount the, the pan tilt mechanism. Okay, so these will probably go in here to mount. But you can mount this any way you want. I'm using double-sided tape, Velcro, whatever you want to do to mount it. And so these pieces here we will not use in the assembly. Those four pieces up there. Okay, now the rest of these pieces, okay, we have the two medium machine screws here and the two nuts that go with them. And those will mount a servo to this top platform here. So in the then we have um, how many? I think eight um, self-threading screws. <clears throat> now two of these self-threading screws are used to put these two pieces together. And those are the, the largest ones. Okay. And now we have four of the, we'll call them medium, self-threading screws. <clears throat> and those are to mount the servo horn on this bottom piece. So the four medium self-threading screws go there. And then we have, we're left over with two small self-threading screws. And those go back on this piece again, I think. Nope, they don't go on that piece. They're used to connect this piece to that piece. They go on, on this piece over here. And they're used to, to attach this servo horn to this piece here. And then these four self-threading screws are used to mount this one here. Okay, so I'm going to start, oh, and I'm going to show you what's inside these uh, um, servos. Yeah, I got these from Hobby King. But now, since these come with servo horns that are just the right size, we can do without any of the servo horns. We'll just put those aside. We'll put them up with the pieces we're not using up here. And then with the servo horn, with the servo, comes three screws, all of them self-threading. These are used for mounting the servo to you know, your airplane or whatever it screws into some wood or whatever you're using to mount the servo on. But these are mounting different ways here. We have, we're using um, either the plastic or these little um, machine screws to mount them. So we're not going to use these self-threading screws either. But we do want this one here. This is used to secure the servo horn onto the servo. Now just to be sure, test fit the servo horn onto your servo and make sure the splines work correctly. You should be able to carefully rotate the servo with the servo horn on just to make sure it really does fit and work. And this seems to be just fine. Now, I guess there's lots of possible first steps you could take, but I think the, the first step I'll take is to sandwich one of these servos in between these two pieces. Because once this is done, it, star it starts to become obvious how, the, what, how it's going to take shape. Okay. Now the, the wire is going to stick out forward on, this, on the pan tilt mechanism. So there's little grooves for the servo to slide in. And we take the other piece and we sandwich it in. Okay. Now we have two screw holes here for the medium size self-threading screws. And these are over here. I'm going to drop those into the holes. And I think the only screw only tool you really need 
is a Phillips screwdriver in order to secure these different screws. And they're self-threading, so you have to kind of get push it a little bit to get it started. just seems wider. It is. I'm going to use a smaller one. Okay, that feels pretty good on the front end. I'll put the other screw in the back. Okay, that one felt, went in much better. That felt nice. It 